Remove the coin from the glass by moving just two sticks. Ooh, that seems like a big one. Yippee, we did it! This is a simple one. Move three sticks to reverse the order. See? That was easy. This is fun. We all know that 9 minus 3 equals 6. Now, can you make another equation that is correct by only moving one stick? Ta-da! Okay, now let's go to another solution. Hmm, we sure are getting rather good at this, aren't we? And what do we have here, folks? A happy dog. Well, now, can you make this happy dog look the other way by moving just two sticks? Wowee! We did it! This one is a little tricky. Move four matches and form three squares. Okay, let's go to the next part now. Well, we have six matchsticks. Can you move two to leave nothing? You did it! Yeah, this is really fun! How can 11 sticks be moved and rearranged to make 9 without taking any away?
Super now, folks, on to the next section. Can you make three equal squares from the pattern shown by moving just three sticks? Alrighty, then how do you like it? An easy one for you. Can you rearrange these three sticks to make nine? Can you make four equal triangles from the pattern shown below by moving exactly four sticks? We did it! You really are getting good at this! We have nine squares, right? Now, can you remove eight sticks and reduce the number of squares to only two? Yes, only two! Let's see how this is done. It looks very easy, because it is very easy. Let's try and make 3 plus 2 plus 1 equals 4 by moving one stick. Yes, only one stick. Ain't it simple? Remove seven sticks and have only one remaining.
Yoo-hoo, we are done! Let's try and reverse the direction of the fish by moving three sticks. Wow, we did it! Can you move three matchsticks to make just two squares? Alrighty, then how do you like it? Let's see if we can get this. Move three matches and leave three squares. Yeah, this is so much fun! Make three matches into six. No breaking into pieces allowed. I'm sure you can do it. Mm-hmm. Just think a little. Righto then. Let's get on with it. I guess it's getting trickier. Move four matches to form three equilateral triangles. Woo-wee! We did it! This is not one of the normal tricks. It's a little different. You have to move one match to make a square. Ta-da! This is an easy one. Just remove three sticks to have only three triangles. We did it! This one requires a bit of lateral thinking. Can you turn these five squares into four squares? 
by moving just three sticks. Okay, now let's go to the next part. This is a good way of exercising different parts of your brain. How can three sticks be moved to make only five equal squares? Yippee, we did it! Ta-da! How can two sticks be moved to make five equal squares? We are getting rather good at this, aren't we? Can you make two squares from the pattern shown by moving only four sticks? You are so good! Okay, now let's go to the next part. One more easy one for you. Can you arrange these five sticks to make 14? Wow, we did it! I knew this would be easy for you! These 12 sticks form 5 squares, 4 small ones and a large one. How can 2 sticks be moved to make 7 squares? What do we have here? A spiral. Now, can you turn this spiral into two squares by moving exactly three sticks? Super! You are so good at this!
can you rearrange the five sticks we have here to make two equal triangles? That's right, two equal triangles. Okay, nothing gets by you. You are just so, so good. Can you make five triangles by rearranging the nine sticks that we have here? Looks like you'll have to give a big workout to your brain, hmm? Okay, now let's go to the next part. What do we have here? Six triangles, right? Now, can you remove four sticks to have only three triangles? It isn't that tough. Hmm, this one was pretty hard, huh? Well, let me give you the answer. Yeah, you got that right. That was really good. And that was a tough one. Yeah, this is really fun, isn't it? only seven of these 13 triangles by taking away just three sticks. Here we go. Hmm. And the solution is? We are getting rather good at this, aren't we? Can't get easier than this. How can two sticks be moved to make four equal triangles? That was pretty simple, hmm? Okay, now let's go to the next part. Right on then. Let's get on with an easy one, shall we? Can you take away or remove three sticks to leave only three triangles? Give up? 
Well, the solution is very simple. You're right! Yoo-hoo! We're done! Can you take away four sticks to leave only four triangles? Mind you, it looks difficult. You know what I'm saying. Okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Yeah, this is really fun. Let's move to squares for a change. Can you have only three squares left by taking away six sticks? The solution is... Hey folks, we're done with it! How do we reduce 5 squares into 4 by moving just 3 sticks? It is very easy. Move this stick right there that one right there and that one right there. You have the answer now, you've got four squares. <laughs>